Hi and welcome to a new video. If you find yourself in a situation where your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode and cannot be restored, there could be several reasons behind it. Some of the common causes are software issues caused by a failed or corrupted update, malware due to jailbreaking, or hardware-related damage to your device. In this video, I will provide a few recommendations that can help you get your iPhone out of recovery mode and restore it to normal operation. Let's go! The first possible solution that may be worth a try is to do a force restart of your device. Keep in mind though that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side button simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. If force restarting your iPhone doesn't work, you may want to consider restoring it using iTunes for Windows or Finder for Mac users. In my case, I'm going to launch iTunes. Now, plug in your iPhone to the computer using an original or an MFI certified lightning cable to ensure no conflict on the transfer of data. In case you don't have a cable yet, click on the tag in the upper right corner or the link below to purchase one. Once you have your iPhone connected to your computer, you have two options. First, you can simply update your device to resolve any glitches from your previous iOS upgrade. If the update fails, your second option is to restore your iPhone. Remember that this will reset your device. Hopefully, you have a recent backup on iCloud or on your computer so you can restore it after the reset is done. But if you don't have any backup, you'll lose all the data on your device. In this case, you have to evaluate whether your data is so important that you don't want to risk losing it. And if so, I suggest you try the next solution. Sometimes iTunes or Finder doesn't work and you get an error during the update process. In this case, I recommend iMyPhone FixPo, a software specifically designed to fix common iOS issues. This tool works on both Mac and Windows PC. Although some features are free, please note that you need to purchase the software to experience its full capacity. If you want to test it out, click on the tag in the top right corner to download it for free. I will also provide a link in the description below. After installation, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI Certify cable. Then launch iMyPhone FixPo. Here you can directly get your iPhone out of recovery mode using the Enter or Exit Recovery Mode feature from the dashboard. This function is free, so definitely give it a try. Press the Next button and iMyPhone FixPo automatically detects whether your iPhone is in recovery mode or not. In this case, simply click the Exit Recovery Mode button and wait until the process is finished. To fix general iOS issues, choose Apple System Repair from the dashboard and click Standard Mode. Then download the required firmware package and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the restore. This process has a higher success rate than using iTunes or Finder. However, please note that this is the paid feature of the software. If all software-related solutions fail to fix the problem, it could be the result of an unintentional drop or another event that caused damage, resulting in hardware malfunction on your iOS device. For hardware problems, the best approach is to contact Apple support. If your device is still under warranty, they may be able to repair it at no charge. If not, they should be able to diagnose the problem and give you an estimate of the repair cost. 
you can either visit the nearest Apple Service Center or contact them directly via chat or call on their web platform. To contact them online, open your browser and visit support.apple.com on your iPhone or computer. From the dashboard, browse to the Get Support section and click Start Now. For more personalized support, sign in with your Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions to start your request. So, did any of the solutions work for you? Write in the comments section below which method helped you resolve the issue. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.